Across um, ENT in general, what are the most common misdiagnoses that you come across when people finally end up in the office and they're like, well, I've been having these symptoms, but we thought it was this. What What are some of the yeah. times you see? So I would say um, ear infections, I often find is something that's misdiagnosed. I'm just going to be honest. Um, I'll have patients who go in and they are having some ear pain. They go to the urgent care um, or see their primary care doctor and they're told they have an ear infection, they're given an antibiotic, but it doesn't resolve the problems. Um, and it turns out that maybe it's TMJ. It's not you know, a real ear infection, it's pain that they're getting from temporal mandibular joint dysfunction or even an abscess tooth. I've had that very often mm -hmm. that gives a referred, you know, ear pain. So I see misdiagnoses there. Believe it or not, sinusitis is not always an easy diagnosis to make because I shouldn't say sinusitis. What I should say is sinus headache. OK, I get a lot of patients who come in, their doctor has sent them to me because they complain of headache that they've diagnosed as sinus headache, when in fact they really don't have any other sinus symptoms other than the headache. And it's really migraine and not sinus. So these are those are probably two of the biggest, you know, misdiagnoses that I see. Are, is there emerging research that you're excited about? What emerging research are, are you? So the biggest thing that I'm excited about is the emerging research on two things, I'll say. Um, the research on oral cancer, and I, I guess because I see a lot of it as a head and neck surgeon, um, but research on diagnosing HPV-related throat cancers. Because right now, there really is no universal test for oral HPV. In women, we have a screening test for cervical HPV, which is the pap smear, um, because we know HPV can cause cervical cancer, um, but there's no universal test. It's not like, oh, let me just swab your throat and I can send it away and it will tell me whether you have an HPV throat cancer. We just don't have those universal. Not that they're not, there are some tests that are out there that they're researching and that's why I'm excited about it um, because I think it's going to be a game changer when it comes to um, picking up and treating HPV related throat cancers early. Early detection is key. And then number two um, is research on tinnitus or ringing in the ears because I see a lot of patients who have tinnitus that can be really debilitating. I mean, hearing ringing in your ear all the time. And I get a lot of patients who just want that cure for the ringing in their ear. And there's ongoing research right now on even implants that can kind of turn that tinnitus off. Um, so I'm excited about those two emerging researches out there.